Hey everybody, thanks for coming to dance with me today. I'm Laura and today we're going to talk about the eight count circle. This builds on the swing out, so if you aren't familiar with that move, there's a video linked in the description. But first, thank you people of Patreon for helping to make this video possible for everyone in the world, including people like you. If you want to join them, it's a voluntary subscription and the link is in the description. Two quick clarifications. One, if you're new to Lindy Hop, swing outs and circles might all kind of blur together and look the same. They are very similar. The way I understand it, swing outs can start from closed or open, but they end in open position. Circles can start from closed or open, but they end in closed position. Besides that, it's the same idea. Second, the eight count circle is a super basic move, which means there are tons of different ways of doing it. So we're gonna teach one way that Brooks and I do it. All right, let's get started with that eight count circle. As you would expect, it's eight counts, so it has that same basic eight count rhythm. Let's remember what that is by clapping it out right now. Here we go, huh, 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 and. Let's check out the geography of the move. The geography is the shape of the move, but without the rhythm or personality or any of the stuff that makes it look or feel like dancing. Now let's add the rhythm. Check it out from a few different angles. Deep rhythm captivates me. A little chant for leaders that makes the path easy to remember is rock, step, get in front, around, around, back it up. Swing it, brother, swing. Don't stop to diddle daddle. And stop this foolish prattle. Come on, swing me, boys. Swing it, brother, swing. If you're not used to doing circles, it can be easy to get dizzy, so we're gonna stop between circles to celebrate the victory. Join on it. Hurry up and send me, let me go to town. Stop things, diddle, daddle. Turn on this foolish prattle. Come on, kill me, boys. Swing it, baby, swing. After you feel comfortable, add some six count basics between the circles to keep the dance going. Here are some quick tips to make things easier. Number one, look at my footwork at the beginning of the circle. Do I rock step? I don't. Brooks gives me space to step backwards twice. That space feels radically different than the six count basic and it makes it easier for him to get in front of me. And stop this foolish paddle. Come on and swing me boys. Swing it brother swing. If you're having trouble with that, something I do is talk out loud. Say back, back as you back up and that'll help override the muscle memory that's telling you to rock step. Number two, Brooks and I don't think about going around each other. Notice we're pretty much stepping underneath ourselves. If the circle feels hard, it might be because your steps are too big and you're trying to get around your partner. Also, check out my pacing. 
I don't have to be back in place until the rock step. Loads of time. Now let's try doing that eight count circle from open. Start with the geography. Now let's add the rhythm. Here's what it looks like from a few different angles. Deep rhythm captivates me. Hot rhythm stimulates me. Can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. Don't stop doing fiddle daddle. And stop this foolish prattle. Come on, swing me, boy. Notice that you already know all the parts. It's the first part of the swing out, plus the last part of that first circle we did. Again, we're going to start by stopping between circles. Follow along. Stop things, Feel comfortable? Try to swing out a few times between circles. Sometimes the differences between swing outs and circles can feel subtle. Here are some tips that might help. Number one, notice Brooks's trajectory for the swing out versus the circle. At the midway point, the swing out is very linear. He's really moving down the line away from me. The circle is much tighter. Brooks is going around me, so he's closer. For me, I'm trying to be in the moment and feel what's happening in my body. Remember, since this is a basic move, it can be done a ton of different ways. And I don't know what kind of way Brooks wants to do it. How far around does he want to go? What direction does he want to go in? For me, the answer is stepping underneath myself. As usual, this video is just a supplement and a guide. The real learning happens through trial and error on the dance floor. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you did, do all that YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment, algorithm, all of that stuff. If you like the music we're dancing to, it's the Brooks Prumo Orchestra, and you can find a link to it in the description. And half of the money that I get from this YouTube channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art, because Lindy Hop is a black dance, and that's very important. The best way to learn how to dance, you know, to get out there and dance.